Hello people of the internet. Um, well today I am going to look at the newest version of the Ohuhu alcohol markers. These are the Kala, K-A-A-L-A, -A -A Kala. <laughs> um, and I bought the landscape tone ones because I wanted to try them. I don't know if I'm going to like them but because they've got a new tip and whatever and I'm addicted to alcohol markers as you know I have to try them and um, so I ordered these uh, last year um, when they first came out and they had a 20% discount on them or something I don't know what their price is now and they will be linked down below which is an Amazon affiliate link and uh, if you're interested in trying them for yourself so let's open the box open the box how high do you need to be to get in there that's it that's not bad so this is how they come they came in this in this box um and i have not taken them out yet i have literally just opened the box and had a little peep and so they come with this little card it's actually not a card it's a piece of paper which shows you the 60 colors so i bought the landscape set as i said it looked like a nice arrangement of colors there's um a few yellows there's a a red and there's a lot of greens which I use alcohol markers a lot for foliage <laughs> so a lot of greens is good and then we've got the little book that says a ho ho art markers of the Kalar Kalar series All right, let's see what it says in here uh, it's got a picture that's German was ist uhuhu was macht a uh, and then Kufe, kufe, uhuhu, kues, uhuhu. Let's get to the English. Okay, there's me thinking this was a really. Oh, and then Japanese. Where is English? There's no English. What? Right, it starts English. Okay. What is Ohuhu doing? Yes, that is my correct question. Um, so Honolulu series, which is the original series. No, that's not the Honolulu. The ah, uh, the oh, 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 who, ah, who, ah, who, ah, who series is the original series with the chisel and the fine tip with a 320 colours. The Honolulu series with the chisel and the brush or the chisel, the fine tip and the brush. They're the Honolulu and the Honolulu B series of which there's 363 colours. And then this is the Kalar series which is a slim chisel and the fine and they have 150 colours I'm guessing that's 150 colours at the moment um, I'm not sure why they needed to bring out another set my theory is is the manufacturer the, who makes the bodies has released those because there's another set of markers that was released last year with the same body and the same chisel tip um, if you watch Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, who is a representative of Ohuhu or a brand ambassador or whatever, she details that really well. She compares the two bodies. I don't have those. Um, I don't have all the alcohol markers in the world, just the ones that I purchase with my own money. So let's have a look at the pins from my point of view. Um, you get the uh, swatch chart, which is very nice on cardboard with all the numbers and names put on it and you get the little plastic mat Ooh, the little jelly mat which is useful and then at the top here you get the um, colourless blender because with Ohuhu if it says a set of 120 or a set of 60 you get 120 plus a colourless blender or 60 plus a colourless blender um, the number of pens doesn't, you know, 60 pens doesn't include the colour spread. Effectively, you get 61. So, which is nice, isn't it? Then you get this piece of stuffing. And here are the pens in a plastic box. Just chuck that on the floor there. Oh, hoo hoo art markers. Landscape time, 60. Look at that lovely Hawaiian hibiscus flower. You can see me more than newborn. That's because I brought you up. Let's bring you back down there. There you go. And a turtle. There you go. And then a little handle. This case is very reminiscent of the Artify case. Different colour. Same clip, same little handle. Bit of, bit of squidge there. 
which I think comes out. Not sure if it's supposed to come out. Oh yeah, because then you could see the, the colour. But leave it there for now. Okay, look at them lovely greens. And teals. Look at that. Ooh. I think we might have to do a swatch, you know, just for the fun of it. Um, but let's have a look at the pens first of all. Let's have a look at the see if they have similar numbers. I don't think they do. So peacock green, one of my favourite colours. Let's grab that there. It's G862 peacock green. Let's see what that is in the Ohuhu mod. Okay, so I have got peacock green uh, and it's BG6 in the Honolulu markers, which is the ones I have. I have the ones with the brush and the fine tip. That's my favourite combination. And uh, so peacock green. So let's see if they look the same as well. We need some pepper. So I'm using this little sketch pad that I dug out of my, uh, well, found, <laughs> um, found in my old travel art box. Uh, I did a video about that. It's linked up there. And it's got really nice, it's thick cartridge paper, I think. It says doodling or sketching. Anyway, I'm going to use this. Don't, the paper is fairly thick. And uh, we'll go through. So, here we go. So excited. New pens. Right, let's have a look at the bodies and everything. So the writing on the actual pens is the same. Silver art marker. Mm, it's a little bit finer, smaller on the, uh, you know, the uh, Honolulu, the originals. And it's a little bit, it feels like it's a bit not as well done, strangely, on the new ones. It, it feels like it's a, it would chip off. Um, and then the old ones have nothing on them. And the new ones have a sticker with the colour on them. And it is just a sticker, which is well stuck stucker. <laughs> it's a well stuck sucker it's a well stuck sticker so I don't think it's going to sort of fall off or whatever uh, and then obviously we've got the chisel end and the fine tip end and the chisel end has the ring around it okay let's have a look at this chisel and I need to get one of my other ones out that I've got a chisel on let's compare the chisel Oh, it's a much, ch it's longer, all right, let's, let's start there. It is longer and it is more, look at that, it's got a different angles on it. The two sides have got different angles on them. So the old style chisel is just a square or a rectangle with the two corners calf. That is the the oblique angle. Whereas this, that side looks like it's got the same. Well, maybe it has got the same. It looked like. No, the angles are different. That's got a sheerer angle on that side than it has on that side. Now these won't be the same colours because but I'm going to try the two different types. So this is the original. You can do flat and you can do like that. And I'm never, I'm never very good with a chisel, to be honest. The chisels are not my favorite. And then this is the new chisel. Oh, you can do a fine line really good that way. Can I do it? Oh, it's finer line. It's a fine, definitely a finer line on the using the tip. Yeah, definitely a finer line there. Okay, so and then we do like that. So it is a sharper, sharper chisel tip. That's what it feels. It feels sharp, which is quite nice. It feels more, you can do definitely do finer lines with it. It feels, I don't know if it feels more controllable. It does if you do it that way. I'm never a fan of using it the fat way. Though I must admit, colouring. 
it feels more precise. Definitely, definitely feels more precise. This feels chunky compared to it, and this feels, I mean, it still feels chunky, but it just feels like it's got that little bit more precision to it. So that's comparing the chisel tips. Let's compare the, so what's at this end, a fine tip. And this one's got a brush tip, so I need to go back to my other pen. So it's a chisel and a... Okay, so let's have a look at the old and new fine tips. So, they look... The fine tip on the collar doesn't stick out so much, but it looks the same pointedness. So... These are now the same colour, should be, they're both um, peacock green. Let's do the fine tip of my old style one. Lovely, I do love a fine tip. I am a fine tip or brush girl, which is why I like the Honolulu bees the best. By the way, that is the same colour. If it's the same colour, why did they give it a different number? When they do the refills, which are coming out in June, by the way. <laughs> um, when they do the refills... How are they going to, why didn't, they're going to have to do two refills, one for this pen and one for this pen. Why didn't they just call it one number and then they'd only have to do one refill. Oh, these, this does feel finer. Mm, let's do that again. Are they, maybe it's just because it's newer. No, that is definitely, look, look at that. So I can do that, that, and then the finest I can do is that. And on this one, I can do that, which is not as thick as that. That, and then look at that fine line that I can do. That is, that is finer than that. But it could just be because it's new, and new and, you know, less fluffed up. So, let's do a big soaking of colour. And then a big soaking of colour of this peacock green with my brush tip. Oh, the brushes are lovely on the Ohuhus. Interestingly, the colours don't look quite the same. But then I think that's because that that actually seeped out more ink. The colour one seeped out more ink than that one because look at everywhere else it looks the same. Okay, so that is comparing the actual pen to the Honolulu pen. I don't have any of the others. Um, I'm not going to compare them to the Slimline pens because they are a different breed altogether. I'm not even going to enter that, <laughs> that equation. Well, let's let's watch all the colours of this lovely landscape tone set. I wonder how much it went through. Yeah, it went through quite a bit on that page. Right, shall I, shall I do them in order? Or should I just do them out the box as they come? I want, I want to kind of do them in order. Just, yeah, but then how am I going to... Where's the box got? I've seen if the box had little holes you know, to keep them in. It hasn't. It's just got one, one quarter eyes, as it were. I'm going to do them in order-ish. So one of these two is going to be the... Uh, it's pale cream and barium yellow. Look, I've usually got a swatch sheet. I've just realised that's what's different. I usually have a swatch sheet. I don't. I don't do it on the hoof with a with a book, do I? Huh? I'll have to do a swatch sheet later. Okay. So that's now. I'm going to have to write that. Oh, I want to do a swatch sheet now. I feel antsy because I haven't got a swatch sheet. Because I'm going to have to write the names down. Not used, not used to not having a swatch sheet. Uh, what? Why two nine <laughs> two nine five? And this is barium yellow. Let's compare it to Y three barium yellow. Looks the same, doesn't it? Same ink. Okay, maybe I won't write the numbers down. I'll just read them out. E two nine three pale cream. Well, that's not very pale, is it? That's very light orange, if anything. Let's put them in order, and then I'll know where I've done them. Uh, next, we're going to do another yellow. 
Shallow Earth 488. Mm -hmm. A bit mucky looking. Oh, there's squadgy at the bottom as well. There's a. When I drop that back in there, look. <laughs> it bounces. There's a bit of squidge at the bottom of there. I'm assuming. Maybe they expect you to keep that squidge in there then at the top because there's squidge at the bottom as well. Stop them making so much noise, I guess. This is melon yellow. That is a very dry feeling pen, melon yellow. Melon yellow also exists. I mean, I guess all of these colours already exist in Ohuhu. These are just another vehicle for their inks, aren't they? That seems darker, but that's probably because I saturated it. Hmm. We won't do no more comparisons of inky colours. I'll do another yellow, which is sunflower. And then marigold. Is this marigold? No, this is eggshell. This should be light. <gasps> oh my word. That is a very orangey eggshell. And this is yellow, yellowish orange. This is just orange, really, a light orange. Next one is rose beige, one of my favourite colours. It's a nice light brown usually okay next one I'm going to do is dark yellow oh another one that feels really dry really you know not very fluid and that was dark yellow I might as well carry on with the brownie ones what have I got here yeah. oh what is that word Vig Viogni Viog Viog Viogni Viogni. That is a nice deepish brown. And then this one. From Dust. These have got some weird names, haven't they? That's like a baby's nappy colour. And then we have Bronze. Nice dark deep brown that one and then burnt orange again really dry feeling I guess this paper is making them feel really dry um what next there's one space for one more in there i'd quite like to do another brownie looking one let's just do black because black can fill that space oh, look how dry that is Look how dry that is. That is really dry. For a brand new, just been released set of markers, that is dry. Look, it's not even coming through the other side. That's how dry that is. Mm. You know me about me being honest with my reviews. Let's turn over and do the next sort of series of colours on here. I'm going to do the greens next, I think. That's one of the reasons why I don't like being sponsored and people sending me stuff, because I prefer to buy the stuff and be honest. Okay, this one is yellow-green. It's quite a nice green, one of my favourite greens in the original markers. This is bud-green. Quite nice. Uh, quite a few greens, let's grab the greens I've got here. This is chartreuse green. That's a nice green, one of my favourites. This is pale green coming next. Which I always find is never that pale. And then this one is vivid green. Which always never seems that vivid to me. Okay, what else have we got on the green front? Uh, bright parrot green. Quite nice. That's a blue. There's a green here, which is bronze green. Yep, same one as it normally is in the normal colours. I'm not sure I can see. I guess the chisel is a little bit better chisel, but the the Ohuhu Honolulu markers are so good. 
with the brush and the chisel or the brush and the fine they should just focus on them they should not muck about trying new chisel tips or if they do try new chisel tips put them in the oh hoo hoo ones or make them as an option that you can switch kind of thing because you've got a whole new set of plastic whole new set of pens a whole new color range with whole new numbers on them which don't match the original colors the colors the actual inks match but the color names don't which just is a whole can of worms that it didn't need to open and then on top of that they've got that other set haven't they the original chisel and fine set which what did they say they were called on, on the thing the ah uh, 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 <laughs> them um they was their first ones which are the oval shaped ones before they brought out the round ones their usp is these ones with the brush and the fine and the brush and the chisel that's what i mean they can have them ones as well as long as the color names match but these i'm not sure of the point of these i'm sure it's just that the factory have moved to different bodies or had the option of different bodies and they thought oh jump on that bandwagon this is why i can never be sponsored by people okay turquoise green light I always think that it's turquoise, but it's not very light. This next one is deep green, which it is a really nice foresty green. Okay, is that all my greens? Oh no, there's one there. Oh, forest green. <laughs> Let's put it next to it. Another one that's really dry. It, it feels like it's running out of ink. You can see it on the back, the seep through when they're dry so you can see these ones not dry that one was a bit dry this one very dry this is new brand new they're brand new <laughs> not just brand new out of the box brand new only just been released all right let's do the bluey green ones then the blues oh i've put me green in there right what we got next hunter green let's go up up the pipe here hunter green that's a nice green actually, fits nicely in the range. Alright, let's do this one next, which is peacock green, the one that we were playing with earlier. Nice. And then we've got ice blue. Yep. Nope. One more to go in that little set there. So Indian blue. Again, dry feeling. They're not juicy like you think. Well, their lids are quite loose. Oops. Sorry. Oh, look, I'm already in a mess. Their lids are quite loose, actually. These lids, tight. These lids, quite loose. Hmm. Okay, next one. Fresh blue. Really dry feeling again. Are we in the finish that channel? Not quite. Let's get all these greys out and start filling up the next channel. Okay, turquoise blue. Just a light turquoise. And then deep sky blue. It looks like the old Prussian blue to me. And brilliant blue. Which it is, that's a nice true ultramarine blue. And then we've got uh, sapphire. It's not bad. Lapis lazuli, beautiful gemstone name there. Very dry feeling. And Prussian blue. Oh. Yeah, that one there, what was that one that I said looked Prussian blue? Deep sky blue, when that was just dried down, that looks more of a deep turquoise green now. All right, so that looks like it's all the blues in this set. We've got some lilac -y ones now. We've got a pale blue violet. Oh, we've got this porcelain blue. Yeah, porcelain blue, let's do that. That is very much a green. <laughs> uh, so, let's get the purpley ones out. Uh, they feel like the only purpley ones. So this one is pale blue violet. Really, really dry 
uh, reminds me of the old is it 77 pale blue in the you know the old shin how gin cheap ink pens mm, no that's a bit pinkier isn't it so maybe it's more like 75 yeah that's 75 isn't it and then the old shin han inks looks like it to me anyway who knows might be wrong supposedly they're using their own inks now i cannot guarantee or defy de determine that defy was it i cannot i cannot confirm or deny that they used to use the shin han inks supposedly they don't anymore i don't know if that's true or not okay so mo shadow next that's nice it's like a dirty pink and then we've got royal light so i guess it's royal purple light oh them two go together really nice don't they nice little blend you could have it there so let's have a little blend up blend nice them two colors blend very nice okay next is a lavender which to me is a light color oh that is the third in that set isn't it them three go together really nice so them three there mauve shadow royal light and lavender eight nine one two seven six and three six nine you know according to the numbers they would go perfectly <laughs> not but they do blend quite nice they're a nice set okay let's move on to the Pinks. Um, that's probably a red rather than a pink. What is that? Grape ash. Let's do that next because that will apply grape. Which looks very burgundy to me. I'm going to leave that in there with the reds. Right, what have we got now? Let's turn the page and do the pinks and reds on the next page. So, this is how long since I've done any videos. I forgot that I used to do a swatch sheet. Oh, that is very uh, highlighter pink. That's medium pink. Looks highlighter pink to me. Next is Orchid Smoke. Interesting colour. Very, very dry. And then we've got dark pink. Like a dusky pink. Again, felt really dry. Pinkish vanilla. Good name for it. Does look like a pinkish vanilla. Okay, what have we got next? Alright, we have got powder pink that's going to be my next one that actually dried down into a nice pink that last one which was vanilla pinkish vanilla that's a nice color uh, pale mauve next Oof, that looks to me in the flesh brown straight brown on camera it looks like a burgundy red, mahogany brown. What did I say it was called? Oh, of course I've thrown it on the floor. As always, the professional YouTuber that I am. Pale mauve. Mm. Next, scarlet. It is very red scarlet colour. Then we've got bright orange. looks red and old red the old old red we know oh, very dry feeling the old old red of days of yore and then tan should have done that with the browns I kind of want to go back here and do it with on the on the browns here that's called tan just tan e262 and that was a really felt dry again I'm going to put that in the brown section. There we go. Right, back to the reds. 
Oh, actually, there is no reds left. All that's left is this quite large amount of greys. Two, four, six, nine greys. Right. We've got a blue grey, a blue grey, a blue grey. Let's do those three first then. So 11, 31 and 69. So blue grey, 11, blue grey, 31 and blue grey, 69. Nice shades of blue. Nice for skies. What have we got next? We've got a cool grey, a cool grey, then we've got three yellow greys. So let's do the yellow greys next. We've got yellow grey 20, yellow grey 40, that's yellow grey 20, that's yellow grey 40 is next. I really like grey that one. And then the next one is yellow grey 150. They mean nothing to these numbers, do they? Well, that's very green grey, that one. They do look quite nice to get. That looks like khaki. Khaki. Look, that lid just fell off. They don't have the clippiest of lids. Oh, I don't like these as much as the ohu. <laughs> these are ohu. I don't like these as much as the um, Honolulu. Cool grey 42, cool grey 82, and then neutral grey. So let's do the two cool greys. Really dry that one. That is a nice cool grey though. And then this is cool grey 82. And then last but by no means least is natural grey. Which is like a nice elephant grey. And that, my dears, is the full set. Let me zoom you up. Oh, I can't remember how to use my zoom. Just go back three pages so we can see them all. So they were the yellows and browns and the very dry black. They were the blues and the greens and the purples. And bear in mind, this is the landscape set. And then they were the pinks, reds and greys. So obviously with a landscape set you won't have many reds and greys unless you're doing flowers. So yeah, what do I think of them? Ah, just uh, just was coming to do my conclusion and I've realised one of the things I want to do is I want to see whether these yellow. Um, as you will know, if you've watched my shorts or my other videos, these Ohuhu markers which I really like, unfortunately, some of the colours do yellow. And what I mean by yellow is if we look at a colouring in this book that I have done with them, there we go, so I did this colouring, that is on the obverse page, so where that has been closed, and it was dry when it was closed, you can see this massive amount of yellow in here. <laughs> so it's the, really the browns and the orangey colours that do it and then also on the page behind it, it does the same thing so it's like uh, there is I, I don't don't know what does it oh who I've, I've spoken to oh who about it so far it is only these oh who who pens that do it not these pens their original Honolulu's if you look on the oh who who website these don't exist on there and I do think these are just a white labeled set of pens that like I say who who focus on the things that you do well these seem to be different ink from a different factory they've even got different color numbers but what i want to do is do a coloring with these to see whether these yellow so you're not going to see this <laughs> video for a while because we'll have to wait for the uh, the hoo 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 ness to sit for a little bit and see whether it settles in so let me just find one that I want to do. Actually, that one looks quite good because it's pretty straightforward and it's got quite a few. It's got a bit of green, a bit of brown, a bit of everything on it. So I'm just going to colour this now. I might keep a bit of it in. Or I might speed through the colouring. Um, and then we can see 
in a couple of days, weeks, months, years, <laughs> whether it um, seeped through. Let me use that colour there for the sand. So, like I say, probably got to speed through this so you won't get, have a go at colouring with the chisel. Interestingly, ooh, they're really weird to hold. I don't like the shape of them. They're, because they've got that narrowness, I don't like how they feel in my hand. They're like fat and then narrow. This is interesting. These felt dry on that paper that I used. But that is quite, you know, cartridge sucky paper. This is colouring book paper. And they feel really dry in this. This doesn't feel like it's going to make it to the end of this sand. These are new out of the box. And it's not like they've been sitting in a warehouse forever. Because they're newly released as well. I mean, it could just be that the chisel releases less ink. Than, you know, the new pointed chisel. I don't know where these fit in. Maybe there's a specific market that needs a sharper chisel. By the way, if I go over the edge, it is what it is. I'm just doing this for yellow ing. That, that literally, it doesn't feel like there's any ink in this. Ooh. Right, let's do, let's get some browns out. And yellow and that brown. Right, let's do these stools. This burnt orange, <laughs> how much I went over the edge. <laughs> oh dear, I I'm gonna use, I have to use the pointer. Ooh, I can't do it. Oh, it's so dry feeling. All right, so I've done all the brown that roof was done with from dust. So let's just put a little bit of color in there to make it a little bit more joyful than it is. We'll revisit this. So when you next see this, you'll know whether it's yellowed or not. And then I'll have probably inserted this somewhere in the video. So you'll already see the conclusion. And if not, I'll do the conclusion <laughs> when we know whether it yellows or not. Okay. Let us see whether the colour markers have caused any yellowing. Bear in mind I used every shade of brown that was in, in there and most of the yellows. Now I can't see anything. Nope. All good. So the colour markers, and I'm just going to shine the light really bright. Just so that I can make sure there's nothing there, not a hint. No, not a hint. Pure white. So that's good. That means the Kalar markers are the same as the Honolulu markers. And they don't yellow. So, now, over to the conclusion. As always, the conclusion. Um, yeah, I, I like Ohuhu pens. I have lots of Ohuhu pens. I have water-based pens, I have the skinny markers, I have a full set of the Ohuhu Honolulu markers, which I love. These, I'm not sure where they fit in. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure where they fit in. But hey, it was nice playing with them. I'm disappointed that some of them straight off the box feel really dry. Um, unless you really, really, really like a sharp chisel, um, I don't know why you'd buy these. I do, I, I just think they should stick to doing the one that they do really well, really well, and focus their attention on that. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Anyway, so that's my swatch first impression review of the Ohuhu um, art markers. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, take care everyone.